Hi, I'm Jeffrey Hess. Thanks for having me again. I'm with Old Northeast Jewelers, and we are internationally known buyers of fine jewelry, estate jewelry, diamonds, sapphires, you name it. But right here in St. Pete, you can come and see us at our St. Pete store or our campus store at International Plaza. Today we're going to talk about pearls. Here are a few pearls that we happen to have bought in the past uh, couple of weeks or so. We want to talk about them. We're going to do a rather fast pay attention. These are button pearls and they're called button pearls because of their shape. And they are indeed cultured pearls, but they're probably cultured in China, very inexpensive. Retail value, $99 to $199. But if you bring them into our store, we're, we're going to pay you $10 or $15, not very much. The next pearls here are beads. They're not really pearls. They're very heavy, and that's because they're just painted beads. And you could stick your fingernail in here and you could peel off the paint. And we see a lot of that stuff. They're virtually worthless. Next, you have some Akoya pearls. And these are, of course, cultured pearls. They're only five millimeters, but some enterprising person took a bunch of five millimeter little pearls, put them all together, added some nice little diamonds and emeralds, and made a bracelet. We paid a thousand dollars for that, and it's for sale in our store for a modest markup. We'd probably sell it for sixteen or seventeen hundred. Next, you have some really large Akoya cultured pearls. These are eight and a half to nine millimeters. When you get that big, they get expensive. But these are not really that great. They're a little out of round and not really well matched and the luster and the knacker are not that great but they do have size going for them they've got a nice diamond clasp we paid twelve hundred dollars and we'd probably sell them in our store for fifteen to eighteen hundred retail value is probably five thousand next you have an incredible strand of pearls these things are amazing about six feet long when laid end to end and they are nine to nine and a half millimeters and even one is a 10 millimeter. So it has bragging rights of being nine to 10 millimeter strand. They are indeed Akoya. They are not South Sea. They're Akoya pearls. They are indeed cultured pearls. They're beautifully matched, great knacker, great luster or naker, depending on what part of the country you're from. And just incredible. We bought these very advantageously. We bought them for $10,000. We'd sell them for $15,000 in our store. Retail value is probably who knows, 25 to 30, because it has this incredible diamond clasp with 8 to 10 carats of diamonds on it. All the diamonds are D to F color and VS1 to VVS, so it's an incredible bargain. Next you have branded pearls. These are Mickey Moto. Mr. Mickey Moto kind of invented the whole cultured pearl thing back in the day in the early 1900s. And Mickey Moto pearls always bring a lot of extra money because they're beautifully matched, the knacker or the naker and uh, the luster are beautiful and they're always perfectly round. And these retail for probably $900 to $1,500, but you know what? We bought them advantageously for about $300 and we'd sell them for $500 in our store. Next you have South Sea Pearls. Don't be confused, there are a lot of South Sea Pearls out there that are actually done very quickly uh, in China and they're not worth very much at all. These are old 1970s, 1980s, 16 to 17 millimeter, beautifully matched, heavy nacre, beautiful luster, South Sea pearls, what they used to call Tahitian pearls. And add a 15, 10, 15 carats of diamonds, and you've got something that's worth 10 to $20,000. Last but not least is a natural pearl. This natural pearl is very small, probably worth three to five hundred dollars, maybe seven hundred dollars, if it weren't repurposed to be a crown, a winding crown and a watch. But natural pearls means that the oyster was not nucleated. All they did was they just found it in the pearl. It just happened naturally. If you had natural pearls of this size, each one would be worth five hundred to two thousand each or more. And a whole strand of natural pearls this large would be millions of dollars. My wife, Katrina Hess, has a pearl certificate from GIA. If you learned something today, wait till you talk to her. She's really smart. Come on over to Old Northeast Jewelers in Tampa at International Plaza next to Godiva Chocolate beneath Tiffany or our original store in St. Petersburg, Florida. Thank you.